Marshall Brodine, better known as Wizzo from Bozo Circus, is here to perform some startling magic. Welcome back to New Hippo, your Chicago show. I'm Amy. And I'm Damaris. And now we're going to join Tony and some lovely ladies because they're hanging out with Marshall Brodine, the Wizzo. Wizzo. Do -de -do -de -do -de -do. <laughs> Thanks, girls. All right, I'm here with Marshall Brodine. Marshall, you got a bird there. Oh, this is Tweety the bird. No, oh, Tweety. This bird will change into a squirrel inside this cage. Really? Do you want oh to tap that three times? Just tap it with your hand. I want you to put one hand on the bottom and one hand on the top. Would you? Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was in a house. We well, lose a lot of cages that way. <laughs> We're here in what looks like a museum, but it's actually Marshall Brodine's house. Who's Marshall Brodine? You remember the magics and all, and all that? Wizzo from the Bozo Show? Let's go talk to Marshall. Hello there, <laughs> Tony. Hey. How are you? <laughs> I'm going to touch you with the stone of Zanzibar. <laughs> You've been doing magic for a long time. Can we talk about the... Uh... when I was about eight years old watching a woman magician in school and got interested in magic, start buying tricks. Worked in a magic shop downtown in Chicago called Finer Amusements on Wabash Avenue, which moved to Randolph Street across from the Oriental Theater, Finer, and it was called um, the Treasure Chest. I just demonstrated magic there, and after that I went into Riverview Park. And, and you were with the Bozo Show for how long? Uh, between going on as Marshall Brodine the first couple years, 30 years. And the Bozo Show was on for 40 years, so you were there. Yeah, I was there from the, in the beginning. I think the first year it was on the air in, what was it, around 1960, when I was on it and stayed on it. And how was those days? They were great. They were fun days. Yeah, a lot of fun being that uh, weird character. Some people were afraid of me. And, <laughs> and was it? Uh, a lot of adults liked the Bozo Show because there was a lot of humor there that was just snuck in. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of it. There's a lot of stories I could tell you some we should have mentioned. <laughs> and I hit the, the stone of Zanzibar. But I call it the magic stone. Watch, I'm going to touch you with the magic stone. I have a trick called the Stocks of Zanzibar, which is over there. The stocks look for your head goes in there and so forth. And, um, uh, I said, that'd be a good name for the stone, so just for fun, I went up to Bozo and Bob Dell, and he says, I'm going to touch you with the stone of Zanzibar. And he says, I remember when you got stoned at the Zanzibar, <laughs> which was very funny. It was a fast, he was really fast with the ad libs, you know. So how did you get the duty, duty, duty? I don't know. I just, one time I was doing something on the table, and I went, duty, duty, do, you know, and, and people laughed, and... Producers, you ought to keep that in there. Do it again. Then I start instead of doing doody doody do, I start going doody 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 do do do. Roll my eyes, and the people liked it. You know, <laughs> many people remember you from uh, making uh, magic uh, things that you could buy at home. But you, you're still doing this. Yeah, I started with TV magic cards on television. We sold millions of TV magic cards, and uh, after that, we went into doing magic sets. This one I did for Siegfried Roy. This was for the Mirage, and sold only at the Mirage. And then there are tricks showing tricks with the lions and tigers that they use in the, in the uh, show. And this one was before it, where a box where you make the tiger appear and disappear. I was trying to get a license with uh, Warner Brothers to do a Harry Potter uh, set, and the woman that wrote the book claims that, well, Harry Potter does real magic, and if you sell a magic set and her tricks, then the kids will think that Harry Potter is all fake, see? So we came out with a set. Because it's real. Job, you know, right? And, uh, we did different tricks with wands and stuff. I was working at Cicero in, in the 1950s, which was controlled by the mob out there. And uh, three guys came in the bar, and the guy that runs the magic lounge says, go show those three guys the tricks. So I walk over with this birdcage, and I says, tap the birdcage three times, and a bird appears. So the guy taps it. He says, hey, I don't see no friggin' bird. And he says, you see a bird? Hey, wait, there's no bird. What are you talking about? I was here, hold the cage. He goes, reaches for it, and the cage disappears. He says, where's the cage? Where'd he put it? The other guy says, I don't know. He's a magician. Ask him. He says, where's that friggin' cage? I says, it's magic. He pulls out a gun, sticks it to my head, and says, where's that friggin' cage? <laughs> and I made that a cage appear faster than it disappeared. <laughs> this is magic. You've been uh, doing this how long? All my life, since I was eight years old. And you got some rabbits here. Yeah, these are two little bunny, Mama Rabbit, Papa Rabbit. I want you to hold your hand like this. I'm going to take, this is the Papa, right? 
I'm going to hold the mama, you hold the papa real tight. Now, I have the mama, you have the papa. In my pocket, I have this magic invisible woofoo dust I sprinkle on there. What it does, it turns the rabbits invisible, a little woofoo dust. Say, Papa, go to Mama. Say, papa, pa go to Mama. Watch, open your hand. <gasps> Set them down, you got both of them. <laughs> oh. I'll tell you what, God. you hold Mama and Papa real tight. I'll bring your hand over here like this. Say, Papa, do it. Papa, do it. Open your hand real fast. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> That's what rabbits are famous for. <laughs> wow. Wow. It's Marshall Brodeen. Marshall Brodeen magic sets are all made by Catacle, a company called Catacle Games and stuff. And uh, they're all the magic cards, the trick magic cards, are available at Walmart stores and wherever you see the sign. And they can go through catacomb.com too. Yeah, so they can do that too on catacomb.com. Right? Well, I thank you, Marshall. I appreciate this. Nice to have you over here. <laughs> but don't tell anyone how it's done. Sit, Ubu, sit. <laughs> Good dog. Good night, Mr. Walters. Tony, can you shut up? Meow. The big world's fat, pussy ass, world hippie show is the worst pathetic piece of <laughs> I've ever seen. You guys are the most untalented f that have ever been on television. You guys suck. Get the f*** off TV. You've got something to say to us, then do it and do it now. We may read your response on a future broadcast. Just email us at feedback at nudehippo.com or just visit us on the web at www.nudehippo.com. There is more to come, so stick around. I'm going to show everyone how to make money. Here's oh, one, two, yeah. three. Oh, yeah, I like this. Four dollars. Uh -huh. One, two, three, four dollars, uh -huh. right? Uh -huh. What you do... Is if someone comes up to borrow money, you say I only got four dollars, but when they go away, you rub it, and then all of a sudden you got one, <laughs> two, three, four twenties. One, two, three, four. Here, let me practice with that at home. Wow. I work alone. <laughs> That's very good. <laughs> and then when someone comes up to borrow money, you real quick, you know, change them back to one. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, you need any money? Nice see you again. <laughs> Thank you for helping. Thank you, Marshall. Thank Marshall, Rodinez, everyone. There's more to come. Stick around.